Hello, Emerson, Luis Javier, Elizabeth, Daniel, Mario, and Marilyn. Welcome to today's class. How's everything? Okay, I see that Luis wrote in the chat, just going to be listening. Okay, Luis, thank you so much for letting us know. And the rest of you, how was your day? Pretty good, teacher. Still working, but I'm here in the class. <laughs> You're being very responsible. Thank you for letting us know and welcome. So let's start sharing the screen. I already have eight. So thank you so much for being early to the class today. As you remember, we were mentioning yesterday we finished the section number one. We're going to start today the section number two. Um, well, we started with marketing yesterday. And about the grammar for this section, we have the adverb enough, right? To modify adjectives. Um as a determinant, it says for a noun as well. So we're going to be practicing enough to modify adjectives and also as a determiner for a noun. We're going to study that today. And we're going to start with the conversation. Let me do another share. Okay, in this conversation, you can Find it on page 19 on your PDF, and it's a conversation between Antonio and Rene. And we're going to analyze the component of the product and price strategies of a famous national product or service. And as you can see there, we have uh, some phrases in bold, um, meaning that's the main topic for today's section in this part of your material. And it says, um, Antonio and Rene. Antonio starts and says, the competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the marketing. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look of and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy is fast enough to help us counter our competitors release of their products. Okay, now that we reviewed this conversation, do you have any questions regarding this? No questions. Volunteers then. Volunteers to role play. Me teacher. Thank you, Byron. Uh, volunteer to practice with Byron. Mario, thank you so much. You can start, Byron. Mario is going to help you. Okay. The competition just relays a clone of, of our he headphones. Uh -huh. They are attractive and now to make us lose position in the market. Uh -huh. What do we do? We do renew the look of our headphones to make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising company. 
Renew Interlock and Packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help our counter our compet competitor realizer of their product. Okay, pretty good. Just review this word easily. Easily and campaign. Campaign, campaign. campaign. easily. Okay, now let's change roles. Okay. okay. The competition is related to a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make useless positioning in the market. In the market. What do we do? What do, we, do? we could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make the let's make let's make them colorful colorful and now so that people can re recognize them easily we can also try with an uh, advertising camping renewing renewing okay. the look renewing the look and packaging will take months and advertising company campaign is too expensive the best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. A strategy is fast enough to help to help us cost. It's fast enough to help us counter or competition release of their product. Very good. Thank you so much. You applied the corrections. You did an excellent job. Thank you for your participation. Let's listen another two volunteers. Volunteers to role play and practice this conversation. Marilyn, thank you so much. A volunteer to practice with Marilyn. A volunteer to. Okay, thank you so much. You can start, Marilyn. Marilyn? Okay. The competition just relays a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make heels plus positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with, a, with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and fashion will take a month and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us compete Tear or competitors release of their products. Okay, now let us change. Okay, the competition just realized a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose posi positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the loop of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renew the look and packaging will take months and an, and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter as competitor relays of their product. Pretty good, excellent job. Thank you so much, Elizabeth and Marilyn. Let's see, do we have the last two? Last two volunteers. Alex, thank you. Me, teacher. Emerson, 
Thank you so much. You can start, Alex. Okay. The competition just released a clone of our head headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose position in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try it with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitors' release of their products. Excellent, now let us switch. Okay. Um, the competition just released a clone of our headphones. They're attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. What do we do? We could renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. We can also try with an advertising campaign. Renewing the look and packaging will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitor release of their product. Excellent, excellent job. Thank you so much, Emerson and Alex. That was a beautiful job. Thank you for your participation. Okay, about this conversation, we have these three uh, statements. They are part of a conversation. We're going to look at it and complete it, uh, complete the sentences that we have here. Um, let's see, number one, they are to make us lose ground in the market. So we complete the number one with attractive enough. They are attractive enough to make us lose ground in the market. So we have to complete the sentence. Let me do a new share. So it's easier in the materials, page 19. Uh, here it is. Okay, so you can take the text tool and type in here attractive enough. They are attractive enough to make us lose ground in the market. What about number two? Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easily. Yes, colorful enough. Colorful enough. Thank you so much, Maria. And number three. That's... That's it now. Excellent, thank you so much. That's correct, it's fast enough. Okay, fast enough. Okay, now that's what you should have in your material. That's a way that we should complete this exercise. And now that was really easy. Now let's read how to use enough to modify adjectives. Look at the examples in the box, and then we're going to complete some exercises. Enough as an adverb means to necessary degree. Enough follows the adjective it modifies. It can use in both positive and negative sentences. Examples, the look of your online course front page is not professional enough. As you can see, professional is the adjective. Okay, 
And then we have enough modifying that adjective. Next example, the package is user-friendly enough. Next, the product design is not competitive enough for a high-end market. Or after sales services are good enough to improve the positioning in so are good enough to improve the positioning of our products. Okay. So here you see there is of enough modifying some adjectives and the meaning of it is to necessary degree. Uh, is there any question about this grammar explanation in the material? No questions? Okay. Now we have some mobile brands here and the exercise here is to uh, describe them using an adjective plus enough. You can see here LG, Sony Xperia, iPhone, and Samsung. We are going to write sentences describing them this is about mobile brands. One sec. Thank you so much for waiting. Okay, um, and let's see, I uh, was explaining this exercise and I ran out of water. I needed water. Um, let's see here. For example, so for me, LG, I would say that um, this brand in particular is not, uh, it's not attractive enough for me to buy a cell phone of this brand, okay? Uh, Sony Xperia, uh, I, I, I have never had a Sony Xperia. Do you know, uh, I think it's a, this is the one that you could play video games like a game console, right? Can you remember about the Sony Xperia? I think it, it, yes, it's a cell phone. But I think that what made it special is that it was like a game console. Let me um. Mm -hmm. Um, I remember that the first one was like a, it is, it has like a, a, a gamer keyboard, something like that, but I'm not sure. Hmm. The Xperia Play. Oh, I found one image. Let me share this. Like, uh, that's the only thing that I remember about this uh cell phone or cell phone brand in particular i think it was uh uh-huh this one is the one that i'm talking about the xperia uh-huh it's was a sunny and you could uh, use it like a, a, a game console, something like that. So, um, 
And that's the only thing I remember about that cell phone. I don't know if it, I think that the most common use are iPhone and Samsung, but I, I don't know about Sony, Xperia. I, I don't have experience using those two brands, LT or Sony Xperia, but maybe you have one idea. For me, they are not attractive enough. What about you? Let's write, uh, describe the, the three mobile phone brands using an adjective plus enough. It can be, um, uh, for example, it can be like a useful enough, good enough, uh, affordable enough, etc. Let's write at least one sentence describing each of them using an adjective plus enough. Let me know when you're ready to share your sentences.
we finished uh, yes teacher no yet or yes you finished yes i finished and uh, would you like to share your sentence uh, of course uh the LG cell phone is not competitive enough for fight with iPhone and Samsung. Uh, Sony Xperia console games are good enough for play video games. iPhone, iPhone mobiles are expensive enough to buy. Samsung services are insecure enough to use them. Okay, excellent sentences. I totally agree with you. Uh, anybody else? Uh, I did it. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, LG is a competitive enough enough in technology in cell phones. It's better than TVs. Sony have a quality enough in video consoles in the gamer market. The iPhone is good enough versus other competitors. Samsung isn't enough competitor for the fit iPhone. Excellent. And yes, totally agree. I think that LG is better <laughs> uh, making TVs than mobile phones. Excellent sentences. And you make use of um, enough in negative statements as well. Excellent. Anybody else? Another volunteer? No more volunteer? Okay, then let's uh, continue with this. I think that we can uh, go ahead with this exercise before checking attendance. Or no, just let me check attendance and then we will move on and continue with the vocabulary exercise. Okay, here is the file. Stay present when you hear your name. Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Present teacher. Thank you, Abigail. Alex Enrique Lemus Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you, Alex. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Tessia Noemi Ramos Rivas. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Present teacher. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gertrudis Aymara Vaquerano Mejía. Thank you. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto Martinez. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mejiva Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique Pineda Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Vialta Vialta. Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Javier Castillo.
Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. Manuel Alexander Vázquez Rafaelano. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez Santos. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla Portillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Víctor. Vidal Payron Ruiz Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. And William Alexander Rosales Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, that's it for attendance. And let's continue with the vocabulary exercise. Okay, here in the same page, page 20, we have the building vocabulary exercise. We have the words or expressions. Number one, product design. Number two, after sale service. Number three, brand. Number four, features. And number five, product positioning. We have to match the words to their meaning their meanings, you can see them on the right hand side of their screen. I'll give it time, let me know when you're ready to check.
finished. Okay, so what do you think is the process of creating an image of a product in the mind of the consumers? What uh, do you have? The number five product positioning. Excellent. The use of a name, term, symbol, or design to give a product a unique identity in the market? Number three, brand. That is brand. Excellent, Mario. Characteristic of a product that describes its appearance, components, and capabilities? Number four, features. Features. Excellent. Number four. Let me... Put it there. Okay, to create a new product to be sold by a business to its customers. Product number one, product design. Excellent, Mario. And the last one, the help and information that is provided to customers after they have bought a particular product. Number two, after site service. After self services, excellent. Very well done, Mario. Your answers are correct. I hope that everybody in the class has the same answer since they are correct. Thank you for your participation. Now, uh, let us continue with the uh, with the presentation. As you may remember, we have been practicing the uses of enough. It's got stuck. God, it's raining here and it <laughs> the internet is starting to, to fail. So give me just one moment. Maybe I can get. Okay. Okay. Uh, now to continue practicing the uses of enough uh, to modify adjectives or nouns, we are going to um, work with this um, vocabulary that we have here. As you can see in the picture, there is a lady watering the plants. Um, you see the sun is shining through the window and we have here an adjective which is bright. So yes, we have here 
some words that describe houses and apartments. Some of them are positive, uh, some of them are negative. All of them are adjectives. Uh, this is good for us to, um, to have a more vocabulary, to improve our vocabulary and increase it. So let's see, what do we have there? We have bright. The first adjective is bright. Then we have comfortable, convenient, cramped, dangerous, dark, dingy, expensive, huge, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, shabby, small, vicious. Did you find new vocabulary? Do you have any question? Yes, teacher. With cramped, dingy. Cramped, yes, cramped means like um, with not enough space, it's very small and tight, like stretcho, apretado. Oh, okay. Uh, dingy? Uh, dingy is uh, similar to dirty. It's synonym of dirty. Sucio. Ah, okay. And shabby. Shabby refers to like en mal estado. Algo en mal estado. Algo que se ve andrajoso. Uh -huh. That is shabby. Thank you. Excellent. So you have three new words. Any other question? No more questions about meaning? Okay, so let's see. What do you think? Are those words positive or negative? Right is positive. That's a, 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 a good thing. <laughs> let me let me share from the other uh, material so that we can check our answer. Here, the exercise, the first part of the exercise is to decide if they are positive or negative, these adjectives. So the first one is right, is positive. What about comfortable, positive or negative? Positive. Positive, yes. Convenient? Positive. Positive. From? Positive. Negative. Negative. Uh-huh. Cramped, it's something negative. Dangerous? Negative. Negative. Dark? Negative. Negative, excellent. Dingy? Negative. 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 Excellent. Expensive. Negative. That's negative. Excellent. Huge. Negative. Mm. Uh, possible. Positive. Yes, huge is positive. Uh, because it's big with a lot of space. So yes, it's positive. Inconvenient. Negative. Negative. Excellent. Modern. Possible. Positive. Excellent. Noisy. Negative. Negative. Mm -hmm. Private. Negative. Private. Positive. That's positive. Excellent. Quiet. Positive. Yeah, it's positive. Excellent. Safe. Positive. 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 
اشتعبي What about Shabby? Shabby negative. is negative. Yes. Small. Small. Yeah. That's negative. Excellent. And species. species is positive now that we have um, classified them into positive negative and we have um, clarified the meaning we're going to tell or write two positive and two negative features of your house or apartment for example we have a short um, description here using two positive aspect and two negative about, um, I think it is a house. I live in a safe neighborhood. Safe is a positive. And my apartment is very bright. Two positive things. However, now it is the contrast. However, it's very expensive and a little cramped. Okay. Now, taking this example, we can write something similar about our houses. I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to write. Remember to add two positive and two negative features as here in the example.
Finish.
a volunteer to be? Me, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. Okay. Uh, free, uh, bright. Bright, it's okay. Bright. Bright. The pronunciation is okay. Bright. Bright. Okay, bright, a positive, comfortable, positive, convenient, positive, cramped, a negative, dangerous, negative, dark, negative, dingy, negative, expensive, negative, huge, positive, inconvenient, negative, modern, positive, noisy, negative, a private, a positive, quiet, positive, safe, positive, Shabby negative, small negative, and spacious positive. Okay, thank you so much for sharing, Alexandra. Uh, we already did that exercise, and now we're working on part B. Do you have the part B? I sorry, no, only no. part A, but now okay, I okay, no worries. <laughs> the word in that. Dear? Hello, teacher. Hi, uh, my, my sentence is, <laughs> my room is very comfortable and private. However, it is dangerous because stay in the dark side. Excellent. Very well done, Aymara. Thank you so much for sharing. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Thank you, Magdiel. I live in a noisy neighborhood, and my house is very spacious, spacious, and it has a hook backyard. Okay, it's spacious with a huge backyard. How how pronounce spacious? Spacious. It's correct, spacious. Spacious, uh-huh. So you mentioned two positive and the negatives? Mm. It's noisy. It is noisy? Uh, only one negative thing? Mm. Mm -hmm. It is noisy. Yes. Only one. Only that. Yes. Okay, great. Thank you so much. You did it very okay. good. Anybody else? Any other volunteer? No more volunteers, only Aymara and Magdiel. Finish part B. Okay. Thank you so much, Aymara and Magdiel. We're going to continue with the perspective part. It says, which would you prefer? We're going to listen to some opinions about the houses and apartments. And we're going to then check which ones are about space. Let's listen. Unit three, time for a change. Page 16, exercise two, perspectives. Which would you prefer? Part A. Listen to these opinions about houses and apartments. Which ones are about space? 1. Apartments are too small for pets. 2. Apartments aren't big enough for families. 
Three. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Four. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Five. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Six. Houses cost too much money. Seven. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Eight. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Nine. Houses don't have enough closet space. Ten. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Okay, now which of these sentences are about space? Number one, number two, number three, number five, number nine. Okay, number one, number two, correct? Number three, number five, three, number five, nine. And nine, excellent. Thank you so much, Maria, for identifying the sentences about the space. Now, let's listen one more time. You can repeat at home. I'm going to click and stop the recording so that you can repeat the sentences at home. Unit 3. Time for a change. Page 16, Exercise 2. Perspectives. Which would you prefer? Part A. Listen to these opinions about houses and apartments. Which ones are about space? 1. Apartments are too small for pets. 2. Apartments aren't big enough for families. 3. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. 4. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. 5. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Six. Houses cost too much money. Seven. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Eight. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Nine. Houses don't have enough closet space. Ten. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. All right, the topic that we are going uh, to study and to practice more it's about the uses of enough with adjectives and also with nouns here you can see that um, the thing is uh, remember that an adjective is something that describes 
okay? Uh, if it is uh, with adjectives, the adjective comes before enough. For example, here, apartments aren't big enough. The adjective is big and then we have enough. Uh, modifying this adjective. Then we have uh, apartments are too small for pets. Um, this is too, it's like it's saying like demasiado. Remember that, or, or muy. Remember that enough is like, okay, like um, lo justo, suficiente o insuficiente. Dependerá si la oración es afirmativa o negativa. Y yeah, too is like uh, demasiado o, o mucho. Eh, entonces vamos a estar utilizándolo también. Y eh, comparaciones utilizando as, luego adjetivo y luego as again. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Okay. Um, with, uh, and with nouns, estamos en esta parte siempre utilizando enough, to, y comparaciones con as, pero en esta parte estamos con los nouns. Cuando es nouns, por ejemplo, en, en, en el caso de enough, el noun va después. Apartments don't have enough. Parking spaces. El noun es parking spaces y es lo que sigue del enough. That is, a, es lo que veíamos al principio de eh, cuando introdujimos la sección número 2, que íbamos a estar utilizando enough, tanto con uh, adjetivos como con nouns. Esa es la única diferencia, que si es con adjetivos, primero va el adjetivo y después enough. Si es con noun, primero va enough y después el noun del cual estamos hablando. Así que con el vocabulario de las casas, apartamentos y los adjetivos que ya estudiamos, vamos a estar practicando, haciendo evaluaciones y comparaciones. Voy a poner el audio para que escuchen la parte del grammar, just for listening and pronunciation. Page 17, exercise 3. Grammar Focus Evaluations and Comparisons Evaluations with Adjectives Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments are too small for pets. Evaluations with Nouns Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Houses cost too much money. Comparisons with Adjectives Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. Comparisons with nouns. Apartments have just as many rooms as houses. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. Okay, uh, now that we have listened and explained a little about the grammar focus, we're going to uh, go to exercise A. The instruction says, imagine you're looking for a house or an apartment to rent. Read the two ads and rewrite the opinions below using the words in parentheses. Let's read the ads. Uh, for the first picture, We have spacious modern house. It has three bedrooms, one bathroom. It's very private in quiet suburb, two car garage, and the cost is one thousand five hundred dollars per month. Uh, the next ad is a smaller, older apartment. Two bedroom, one bathroom, downtown, near subway, one parking space, 900 per month. Now, using the information on the ads, we are going to rewrite the opinions. The opinions are these sentences that we have here. There are only a few windows. We need to rewrite the opinion using not enough. It will be 
there aren't, so, como aquí estamos hablando de Windows, sería como esta estructura, ¿verdad? Usando enough Windows en negativo, sería... There aren't enough windows. Like here in the example. Okay. So you have the opinions here and we have a, in parentheses what we're going to use. For example, not enough. There aren't enough windows. In number two, we have to use two. Number three, not enough. Number four, two. And so on. I'll give you time for you to rewrite the opinion. I'm going to start sharing for a while. And we're going to do this in the breakup room so that you can share. Uh, you can decide if there are three in the room or four. You say, I'm going to work number one and two. Fulanito is going to work number uh, three and four and so on. So you can divide them or you can work all them together. You will decide. Hi, Magdiel. Okay. Uh, well, then I'm going to move you to a different room where maybe Magdiel can be just listening and maybe you can participate in the in another room, Emerson. And okay, no problem. Do the number two. There is only, okay, I'm going to move you. Click join or unir, so when I'm going to move you. Okay. Okay, so three of us are going to make two and the other ones are going to make one. I don't know if one person wants to take two. Me. Okay, so if you want, you can take the number one and number two. Okay. Okay, and Manuel, you can take five, Byron, C, 
six, Guadalupe seven, and I can take eight. Okay. So it, it goes before the adjective. So I think it could be, it is not too right. Not too bright enough. Um, mm, without the no, I guess. I think, I think, yes, it could be, it's not too, too bright enough. Maybe it could be house. House aren't aren't too bright. Uh, so you are in the number two. It's not bright enough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. And um, you need to change and use the two. Uh, uh, two. Remember that two is is demasiado. Entonces podemos eh, hacer como el, el, el opposite. ¿Cuál es el opuesto de bright? Dark. Dark. Entonces podría quedar it's too dark. Number two, it's too dark. Ok. Uh -huh. so, es reescribirlas en, um, utilizando uh -huh. lo que está en paréntesis. Puede ser en este caso, estamos usando lo opuesto porque tenemos el, el, el to, tenemos que usar el to. Entonces, it's like to say, it's not too bright, es como que mm, no mucho hace sentido. Entonces, es mejor poner, um, it's too dark. Mm, okay. Uh -huh. ok. That's for number two. It's too dark. Okay, so in the third sentence says uh, it has only one bathroom. So, well, I can't see a bathroom there. <laughs> so, one bathroom. What bathroom? Maybe, maybe it could be. Um, Uh, I don't have. There, there isn't. There isn't uh, the opposite. Yeah, teacher, it's not hard to be the opposite, right? Uh, no, 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 no. Siempre. For example, see si this number three. It has only one bathroom. 
y me está diciendo que utilice no suficiente, not enough. Entonces tendría que decir que no tiene, no tiene suficiente baño. Entonces me quedaría it has not enough. And doesn't or is not, uh -huh. and have no tiene. It doesn't have enough bathroom. Okay, and the last one, it's not convenient enough. Yeah, because it's too, it's too expensive. <laughs> so. What is the opposite of convenient? Inconvenient. Inconvenient, yeah. Mm-hmm. Utilizando el Two, como nos quedaría, por decir, es demasiado inconveniente. So it's, it's too, it's, it's too conven inconvenient. Huh? It's too inconvenient. Okay, the second one says smaller, older apartment, two bedrooms, one bathroom downtown, near the subway, one parking space, $100 per month. It's not spacious enough. So you send the two. And Mm, maybe we can say cramps. Mm, mm -hmm. We can say that it is to cramps. Yes. Mm. Okay. And six is too old, not enough. The opposite of all could be mother. So maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe could say it's not enough mother. Okay. El adjetivo que sería modern, it isn't. Mm -hmm. It isn't modern. Isn't modern enough. Modern enough. Uh -huh. It goes serious. It isn't modern enough. Seven. It isn't safe enough to. Well, it's in downtown, so it's not safe. <laughs> uh huh. Podría ser to que si no es seguro es demasiado que. Mm, dangerous. 
So it is too dangerous. There's only one space. <clears throat> so maybe in the last one could be there aren't enough parking space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Haven for come. Eh, Hassan. Hassan. Apartment Hassan and not Barry. And the number four, I did it, and it's not too convenient enough. About no. In the number two, I'm sorry. In number two, or, or cuál es que acaban de mencionar uno? The number three and four. Uh, uh -huh. ¿Cómo les quedó number three? Arms. Arms hasn't no bad. It doesn't. It doesn't have enough bathroom. <laughs> it doesn't have enough bathroom. No tiene suficiente baños. Sería una buena opción. It doesn't have enough bathroom. But it's a Perdón, que la escucho como cortado. Eh, entonces, ¿qué puede ser? ¿Aparme? No, no. La número tres, number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, uh -huh, number three. Apartment. Apartment. Ajá, the apartment. Podría ser the apartment. Uh -huh. Apartment no. Ajá, sería doesn't have, doesn't have, ajá, does not have, doesn't have enough bathroom. In number four, the department and to more convenient. Uh, okay, the sentence number four, it says, it's not convenient enough. Entonces, ahí me está diciendo que no es suficientemente conveniente, o entonces, uh, el to significa demasiado. Podríamos, entonces, eh, como dice que es... no es conveniente, ¿cuál es lo opuesto de conveniente? 
Uh, inconvenient. Uh, Ajá, okay. entonces, y para utilizar el to, okay. podríamos ponerla como it's too inconvenient. ¿Cómo es reescribirla? Es escribirlo de otra forma. Yes, correct. It's too inconvenient. Okay, and the number five? Uh, maybe uh, it is too uh, small. Um, yes, it's una buena opción. It is too small. Um, vimos otro adjetivo nuevo ahora para referirnos cuando algo es muy estrecho o apretado ¿cuál es? Um, cramped ajá uh -huh. yes you can use it is too cramped Okay, the number six. Who have the number six? Uh, me, me teacher. Mm, maybe the apartment is not too old enough. Uh, uh, the exercise is to rewrite. It's like write in a different way. If the, it says it's too old. Me está diciendo que es demasiado viejo. Ahora yo tengo que escribirlo de otra forma utilizando not enough, que sería no suficientemente. No podría volver a utilizar hoy porque entonces no diría algo así como no es suficientemente viejo. Ah, ok. Ajá, sí. entonces ¿cuál sería el opuesto de old? Sería como nuevo. Los... Es... No, de los adjetivos que vimos al principio. Eh, modern. Modern, ajá. Podemos utilizar y decir que no es suficientemente moderno. Entonces nos quedaría. Entonces, ya te... Is not... It's not, it's not too modern. modern enough. It's not. It's not enough modern. Mm. It's not enough modern. Primero, cuando es adjetivo, el adjetivo va antes de enough. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría? 
It's not. It's not modern enough. Modern enough. Excellent. Uh -huh. It's not modern enough. Eh, ahí sí, lo siento porque aquí estaba, estaba lloviendo y no logré entender muy bien el, esa explicación. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, no worries. Vamos a seguirlo practicando. Y lo importante es que la participación es donde uno descubre a dónde tenemos eh, oportunidad de refuerzo. That's ok. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, seven, I have seven in my growth. It is too dangerous. It's okay. Yeah. Yes, it's correct. Okay, number eight. Um, there isn't enough parking space. Yes, that's correct. Okay, before checking the exercise, we're going to check the attendance for the second time tonight. And then we will move with the exercise. Uh, Abigail Elizabeth Flores Hernandez. Alex Enrique Lemus Guzman. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you. Cecilia Noemí Ramos Rivas. Elizabeth Stephanie Vázquez Ramírez. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Emerson Alexander López López. Present teacher. Thank you, Emerson. Francisco Ernesto Acuña Rivera. Gertrudis Aymara Baquerano Mejía. Guadalupe Alexandra Calixto Martínez. Present. Thank you. Hazel Vanessa Mejiva Rodriguez. Present. Thank you. Jose Enrique Pineda Tobar. Present. Thank you. Julissa Yamilet Villalta Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Luis Javier Castillo.
Magdiel Esau García Morales. Present teacher. Thank you. Manuel Alexander Vázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramírez López. Present. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you. Víctor Noé Bonilla Portillo. Thank you. Vidal Byron Ruiz Ortiz. Present teacher. Thank you. William Alexander Rosales Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's take the exercise. Just let me share a screen with you. Okay, here we are. Uh, sure, don't leave my name. Okay, yes, I see here, Carla. Thank you for writing, Elizabeth. Let me update. Okay, I'm going to update attendance. You know, so I might. I'm not, I, think. I see that you're having issues with your audio or your internet is more likely. Okay, and that is the exercise was to um, rewrite the opinions in different way using what we have in parentheses. Uh, first one, there are only a few windows. It's um, using not enough. It would be there aren't enough windows as we have here the example. Uh, volunteer for number two, it's not bright enough. How did you write the number two? It's not bright enough. It's too dark. It is too dark. Excellent. Thank you, Maria. It has only one bathroom. It has only one bathroom. There are not enough bathrooms. Yeah, you can say there aren't enough bathroom or it doesn't have enough bathroom. Either or is correct. Thank you so much. Uh, number four, it's not convenient enough. It's not convenient enough. Two. Uh, two is like saying demasiado and so if it is saying that it's not convenient what is the opposite of convenient it is too inconvenient inconvenient excellent alexandra it is too inconvenient thank you so much uh, number five, it's not spacious enough. It is too small. Um, yeah, it is too small, but at the beginning in the vocabulary section, 
what is the adjective that is similar in meaning that is small? Vimos uno al principio, it's like um, similar, it's cramped, yes. So you say it's too cramped, it's too cramped. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's not, it's too old, number six, it's too old. What was the opposite of old? And the vocabulary that we study? Modern. Modern, uh-huh. It, it is modern enough. Uh, no. mm. It's not, luego antes de enough, va el adjetivo. Entonces nos quedaría, it's not. It's not modern. Modern. It's mm. not modern enough thank you so much it's not modern enough number seven it isn't safe enough it is too dangerous excellent alexandra it is too dangerous there is only one parking space There is only one parking space. There is not enough parking space. There is not enough parking space. Very, very good. So um, tomorrow we will analyze the answers in the grammar again so we can make a review. So for today, that's it. And that's, thank you so much for joining today's class. See you tomorrow. Have a good sleep. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. Sleep well, teacher. And you do the same. Thank you. Bye.